I'm Victoria Nice. I'm the product manager for After Effects, and I'm here today to talk to you about not just what motion graphics templates are, but why they can totally transform your workflow. Uh, I'm also extremely jet lagged, so bear with me. <laughs> um, so before I joined Adobe, I spent a decade as a motion designer. And there were a lot of things that I loved about that role, especially finding new creative ways to tell stories visually. But I have to admit there was also some stuff that I didn't love. Uh, take the time that I built all the graphics for a feature documentary. I delivered a couple hundred final renders. And just when I thought I was done, the producer went to a test screening and decided that the font looked too small on the big screen. That's one simple decision. Make the font bigger. But now half your crew has just lost their weekend. That's an expensive decision. And it's no fun for a bunch of creative people either. I mean, I don't know about you, but I sure love not sleeping because I need to manually update 120 different lower thirds. And I'm sure editors just as much love cutting them all in in a last minute panic. And I realized what, from that situation that all the bits of my job I had found frustrating had something in common. It was the repetitive, uncreative stuff that I had to do once the design was finished. Now that was a long time ago. And these days, there's more content than there's ever been in more places. And that content has to be more flexible than ever before. It used to be you'd finish something once you'd resize the text, of course, and it would run, and that was that. But motion design is changing. There is no one final output anymore. Uh, take an episode of network TV. There's the broadcast version, the streaming version, the translated and transcoded versions for other regions, the syndicated version with more room for commercials, the airplane version, the version that's recut for countries where alcohol can't appear on screen. The list just goes on and on and on. And then on top of that, you have the promos. Next week, tomorrow, tonight, next. For each time zone, for each network. And then there's the social media campaign, which is all of this all over again in a whole bunch of different aspect ratios. And you need to update the graphics for every one of those variations. It's no longer a matter of working the weekend. Demand has moved beyond human scale. And that's why we've spent the last few years focused on building tools that enable you to deliver beautiful graphics at a previously impossible velocity. And the centerpiece of that is motion graphics templates. Uh, we call them Mogerts for short. Uh, they give you the full creative power of After Effects in an easy to share, easy to customize package. And I love motion graphics templates because they enable designers to focus on design and editors to make key decisions in context. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, back one. Let me jump back one. Ah. So pretty much anything you can dream up in After Effects, you can turn into a motion graphics template that can be shared with the editorial team working in Premiere Pro. Opening titles, lo logo animations, bumpers, lower thirds, no matter the graphic, you get to choose what you want an editor to be able to change about it. You're in control. You can add lots of options, give someone dozens of ways to switch up layout, colors, and styling, or you can lock things down completely. Just change this text, nothing more. It's up to you. And either way, if you're an editor, making those changes is simple. You just drag and drop and then customize. You can reuse the same graphic again and again with unlimited variations without having to switch applications or ask someone to make changes for you. And I've been using After Effects most of my life. And I'll be the first to tell you that After Effects projects can get very complicated very quickly. And that complexity is powerful. Everything can be adjusted and animated to create exactly the look that you want. But digging through someone else's composition to find that one thing you need to change, that's always a challenge. Motion graphics templates, though, they're so easy to update. It's all just right here. You don't even need to be a video pro to customize a template. Everything you need is right in one place. And motion graphics templates maintain their flexibility beyond the original sequence. 
They make it so much quicker to deliver alternate versions for regional or international use, promos, or social media. Sorry, and social media, because face it, you're doing all of the above. And this speaks to one of the other neat things about designing MoGrids. You don't just get to design a graphic. You get to design the editing experience for it, too. Designers get to choose which properties an editor is able to adjust. They can lock things down enough to ensure everyone stays on brand, while still giving people the flexibility they need to adapt to different circumstances. And to me, maybe the best part is that a motion graphics template isn't a video. You, you don't have to wait for it to render before handing it off. You don't have to deal with tons of huge files or manage multiple rounds of outputs. When you export, After Effects packs up all the building blocks an editor needs, assets and all, into one convenient package. No more relinking footage, and if you use Typekit fonts, they'll sync automatically. That's a lot of boring, uncreative work that you can just skip. And the more efficient you can be, the more time you can save. When you're not stuck wrangling composition files and assets, or having to jump into another application to make a tweak, or having to stop what you're doing entirely to ask someone else to do it, you can focus. You can focus on the task at hand. You can focus on your creative decisions. You can focus on the work that makes you most valuable and that made you want to do this job in the first place. So one of our users at Oxygen told us about how their entire promos department embraced motion graphics templates. He said, it's pretty amazing and extremely efficient to have editors doing most of our day-to-day -day graphics work. Quality remains top-notch, and it frees up our graphics department to work on bespoke treatments for higher priority shows. Which sounds like way more fun design work that nobody was getting to do before, and now they have the time. But what if you don't have a great crew of designers like they do? If you're an editor who wants to take your work to the next level, check out Adobe Stock. We have hundreds of professional motion graphics templates created by top members of the motion design community and ready for you to make your own. They're super quick to license directly inside Premiere Pro, and many of them are free. So to wrap up, you've got motion designers with more time to create and editors empowered to make key decisions in context. And the result is not only a higher quality production, but less data entry, less back and forth, and fewer late nights scrambling to make last minute changes. We thought the change was dramatic enough that we actually commissioned a study. And I can even give you a handy number. Motion graphics templates are up to 454% faster than the alternative. <laughs> And that's just for customizing a single template. So if I were building those graphics for that documentary today, all of those lower thirds would have been one Mogert. And that font size change, that one surprisingly consequential decision, it would have been a breeze. I'd open up the original in After Effects, make my design changes, and then I'd export a new version to my shared library. The editor I was working with would open up that library, press Alt, and drag the new version on top of one of the old ones in the timeline. They'd get the option to replace every instance in the sequence, all, graph the, all sequences, all versions of this graphic, and they'd click Yes, and that was it. Premiere would keep all their customizations with every different version, but with that new font size. That whole weekend, down to two clicks, it's really transformative. So that's one decision, and that one decision is now one change. And when Premiere is at the center of your post-production workflow, your whole team can be so much more productive. So I'm going to head over now to the other machine here and actually show you motion graphics templates in action. There we go. Cool. So first thing you want to do when you're starting to turn something into a motion graphics template is open this composition in After Effects in the Essential Graphics panel. And you'll see that there's a lot of different properties already in this panel. Those are the things I've chosen that I think are the most important for an editor to be able to change. And this is a really flexible experience, and you have lots and lots of options. Almost every property in After Effects will work in this panel. There's only a couple small exceptions. So if I click Solo Supported Properties, it's going to show you everything you can add in this composition. And I can scroll pretty much forever. Uh, just on and on any of these properties, I can select and add to that panel. So there's a bunch of different ways to do it. I think the easiest one is you can just grab something and drag and drop it into the panel. It's that simple. Uh, you can also create groups 
and that's going to be new in our upcoming release. You're going to be able to create groups. Uh, we have one here that's this edge wipe settings one. So to do that, I'm just going to say add group. Let's, uh, let's call this one uh, transforms. And I'm going to drop this up here, and let's drop these two things in there. Because I'm creating that experience. I want to make this simple for an editor to use. I need to think about what are they going to look to do? Where are they going to look for it? That's part of the design job now. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this looks pretty good. I think I'm ready to send this over to Premiere. So to do that, I'm going to click Export Motion Graphics Template. Let's call this Master Credit IBC. And we're going to say, we're going to save, and we're going to export. And After Effects is packing up everything it needs to render this graphic into one file. And now I have a choice of where I can save that. So I can choose either a local templates folder, which will go straight into Premiere. I can go to my local drive and save it out as a file if I wanted to, say, email it to someone, put it on some shared storage. Or in this case, I think I'm just going to go send it over here to my IBC 2018 library. And CC Libraries is a great way to collaborate because you can use it to build a style guide that's shared by your whole team. And you can control who can add things to that library and who can just use that library. You have a lot of flexibility there. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to pack everything up. And now when I jump over to Premiere here, you will see that Premiere is really tiny. There we go. You will see that now I can jump into my library here. And there is my master credit IBC. Now, I already have in this sequence a version of this with a font that I don't like. And so I'm going to hold down Option. I'm going to drag in the new version and wait for it. There it goes. It's not just updated this one. It's updated every single one in this entire sequence. And yet each one, oh, oh it didn't. What did I do wrong? Ah, come on. Yes, replace them all. There we go. So every single one of these now has updated and yet kept its different customizations. So you'll see the angles at a different place, the text is different, and yet it's just one click to make that update. If I wanted to customize this again and make changes, I can go over here into the Essential Graphics panel in Premiere. Same panel, slightly different purpose. And so it's just as simple as editing some text here, changing, changing the name on this, or I can twirl down my groups now and go actually start repositioning things on screen. Uh, you don't even need After Effects installed in order to be able to use this template because we've built the After Effects engine into Premiere. This is running natively in Premiere, and it's pretty fast. It's super snappy playback. You get to see your changes instantly. Now let's take a look at some of the other options you have for pulling in motion graphics templates. If I uncheck that, I can go to my local templates folder here, and I'll show you just how many options you have here. There are a million that ship with Premiere. Tons and tons of options built in. Some ship with After Effects as well. Tons of creative things you can do with these templates. Or you can start going over to Adobe Stock. And I'm going to just go over here, and you'll see right away you'll start seeing some of your options. Uh, I'm just going to type in lower third. And one of the best things with Stock is that a lot of these are free. And that means that if you just need something super quick, you're trying to get something out the door, you want to just add that little bit of polish, you can go grab something straight off of Adobe Stock, pull it into your project, and you'll be up and running right away. It's one click to license. Uh, super simple, great workflow. Uh, normally loads a little faster when you're not on conference Wi-Fi. <laughs> so there's lots of things you can do here. And it's all up to you how complex you want to make these. Stock templates tend to have tons of controls. But your template could be as simple as just that one line of text. So let's switch back now. I'm going to head back to my last couple of slides. If I can go back to my other thing. All right. And so the big point of all of this is that all of these tools enable you to work faster and work together faster. Because if you're still waiting for every single graphic to finish rendering, waiting for each video to upload to shared storage, waiting for an editor to import them, finish manually cutting them in one at a time? If so, you're in the business of waiting. And nobody needs downtime when you're on deadline. And the best part is that no matter which Adobe video tools you're using, you can all work together. Because these tools are deeply connected. You can do what you do best and collaborate easily with everyone on your team doing what they do best. So the tools work together, 
so you can work together. And I, I really think this is the greatest strength of Creative Cloud. It's that no matter your level of expertise, no matter if it's deep or broad, you're connected and there's a tool for you. And everything works together. Because smarter collaboration is the only way you're ever going to get your work done. Those deadlines aren't getting any further away. So with that, um, anyone have some questions? Or I can jump back and show you a couple more cool things with motion graphics templates. Good? All right. Could I jump back to the demo? Yeah. Maybe not. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, so there's one other thing that I haven't shown yet, and that's that you can also create motion graphics templates in Premiere Pro. And I think a lot of people think it's After Effects only. There's a whole graphics engine built into Premiere, and you have a lot of options there, too. So I can grab, let's see, one I like here is bold title. Let's search for that one. Yeah, I can grab one of these. And with the Premiere ones, you'll see you get a slightly different experience. I need to sync some fonts. Let's see, it's going to sync them automatically, although I do now need to reload my project. Yes. I thought we fixed that. But no. Ah, let's just use the default font for now. Uh, so in Premiere, you'll see you get a slightly different experience. I have a couple different options here. And I actually have direct access now to the native text layers, native shape layers. And you can now make changes with these right on the screen, right in your sequence monitor. And so here we can say, hello, IBC. And super quick, super simple, really intuitive to work with. And you have a lot of controls here that you have full flexibility. So if you're an editor and you want to create something right in your edit, this is the way to go, because this will give you just the tools you need right in context. Uh, whereas if you want to make something more complicated and share that uh, with someone who's editing and you want to keep them on brand, that's when you should go to After Effects. So there's, but they're both motion graphics templates, and you have exactly the same workflow. I can share this to a library, add it to my timeline from a library, and there we go. I have full access to it. Uh, it's, it's a nice way to work. There's some cool stuff here. And uh, one of the other things that's in here and that is also coming to After Effects in this release is responsive design time. And this is an amazing, cool feature because this lets you reuse the same graphic again and again at different durations without having to rebuild it. And so in this case, this one's got the first intro protected. First second there is no matter how long I stretch this graphic, I can make this super, super long and it's still always going to take one second to animate in. There we go. And so that's also coming to After Effects. And on the After Effects side, you'll have some cool extra flexibility. In Premiere, it's just intro and outro. In After Effects, you can protect any region. You can make graphics that evolve over time, and every transition is, can, you can make sure it's always the right duration, no matter how long you stretch or squash that graphic. So I think this is one of the most exciting new features that's coming. Uh, one of the other things that's coming with this cycle for uh, templates created in After Effects is font controls. Uh, you can do a lot more now than just change the text. I can also go in with other, type, with other options. I can enable on the After Effects side, and I have, to be, I have to choose to enable them, and that's really important, because not everyone wants to give editors access to font controls. Uh, I actually can click Edit Properties here, and it's giving me three simple checkboxes. Enable custom font selection, enable font size, and faux styles adjustments. So all I have to do is check these boxes. Let's, let's do it. Let's check all the boxes. And you'll see that they're going to pop up here. And if I re-exported this template, they'd pop up on the Premiere side as well. So this is one of our most requested features. I'm super happy it's in. And uh, that you've got a lot of flexibility now with both After Effects and Premiere motion graphics templates. So thanks, everyone. <laughs>